Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you a new method to increase internal storage on a Chromecast with Google TV. These streaming dongles come with minuscule storage and you will see I only have just a little over a gig left and I've only installed a few apps. Expanding internal storage or some say creating adoptable storage will allow us to install applications onto a USB drive. In the past, we had to use one of these USB-C hubs, and the Chromecast had problems due to the power required to run one of these. Now, there is this fairly new USB-C OTG cable that's available which will allow us to connect a USB flash drive. In this example, I'm connecting a 32 gigabyte SanDisk 3.0 flash drive. You can definitely use a bigger drive, but I personally like to keep it at 32 gigabytes as it seems the bigger the drives, the more problems that I encounter. Now, if you do try a bigger drive and notice problems, maybe try using a smaller one. Okay, everything's ready to go. Now I'm going to take the Chromecast with Google TV, hook it up to my TV, and boot it up. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do is hover over the gear icon, click the gear icon, go down, hit system, go into about, Highlight Android TV OS build and click it seven times. You're gonna see when I do that, it says you are now a developer. Now when I press the back button on my remote, move down, developer options is now available in this list. I'm gonna move over to the right. You will see enable developer options is now turned on. I need to turn on USB debugging to make this work properly. So I'm gonna click that, click okay. Now, since I'm in here, there are a few other changes that I want to make. I want to turn off animation scale and transition animation scale, and I want to change this to 0.5. This will just speed up the user interface. We don't have to wait for these transitions between screens and menus. And there's one more change that I want to make towards the bottom here. I want to turn on force allow apps on external. And what this is going to do is everything that I install from here forward will be automatically placed on the USB drive that I set up. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm gonna hit the back button. Now I want to hover over storage, move over, and you're gonna see that I have my USB drive that has been recognized, it's under removable storage. Now you're gonna see this one here, that's from another time in the past when I've connected a USB drive to this device. No big deal, that can remain as is. But what I do wanna do is go into USB drive, and before I do anything, I always like formatting this as removable storage. Before I hit this, I first want to just format it. So I'm gonna click that and click format. Now, for some reason, you don't see your USB drive there, more than likely there's something wrong with it. I suggest formatting it as FAT32 with the Rufus application, and I will link to that tutorial in the video description below. Okay, the formatting has completed, and now I'm just gonna move over and click this here, erase and format as device storage. Now what this is doing is it's taking the USB drive and adding it to internal storage so we can run applications from it. I'm gonna hit format. USB storage reconnected. And you will notice the larger driver you're using, the longer this process will take, so just be patient and wait for it to complete. USB drive is formatted. Okay, now it's asking me, do you want to move data to the USB drive? Yes, we do. I'm gonna hit move now. Could not migrate data to USB drive. Now I knew that was going to happen. That is a common error we get with the Chromecast with Google TV when expanding internal storage. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. I'm gonna go back to the home screen, hover over apps, move down, 
I'm going to click search for apps and games. And I want to install the free downloader application. There's some ADB commands that we need to send to the device to fix this. And I need to install an application through the Troy Point toolbox to do that. Now, unfortunately, that's a bug currently present within Google TV devices. We do know that Downloader is available for install. So what I suggest doing is pressing the voice assistant button on the remote and then say, open Google Play. Opening Play Store. Now, you may encounter this with other applications you try to install on the Chromecast with Google TV in the same trick will work to get the apps that they say are not available. So within here, I'm going to search for downloader again. And you're going to see there, I type in the first few letters, hit the back button on my remote, install. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open it. You must click the allow button when you see this. Click OK. Up button on my remote to put the cursor in the URL box. Now I'm going to click the OK button on the remote to open the keyboard. And I want to type in 250931. This will open the Troy Point toolbox that will allow us to install a couple of applications. Now I have dozens of apps available for install in here that aren't available within Google Play Store or the Amazon App Store. Since I use this on a regular basis, I do want to mark this as a favorite within Downloader. To do that, I'm going to hold down on the OK button of the remote for a few seconds. Add current page to favorites. Back button to get rid of the keyboard. Save. And now when I come in here in the future and I want to install an app through the Troy Point Toolbox, I just have to go into favorites, hit Troy Point Toolbox, it will load without waiting for the five second load screen with the ads. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm looking for the ADB app and Sideload Launcher. Those are the two apps I'm going to install. All right, the first one I want to install is Sideload Launcher. And the reason I need this is because I want an easy way to launch applications that don't show up on the default Chromecast with Google TV Launcher. This is good just to have anyway, just in case you do sideload apps that aren't supported by the launcher. And like I mentioned, there's all kinds of apps you can install through here that aren't available within Google Play. To learn more about them, all you need to do is click the tutorial button. As long as you have a browser set up on your Chromecast with Google TV or Fire Stick, click the tutorial link and you will learn more about each application. So I'm gonna hit download. Okay, when I first do this, it's going to ask me to turn on unknown apps for downloader. So I want to go into settings, move down, highlight downloader, click the OK button, and now it gives me the install option. Install, application installed. Okay, I want to hit done. There's another app I need to install. Back button on my remote. Now there's no need to leave this on the device, so I'm going to hit delete and delete again. This is just the installation file. We already have limited storage, so get rid of those installation files. There's no need for those. Okay, now I'm looking for the ADB application. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. I'm going to put my pointer over it, press download, install, done, and delete the installation for this as well. Okay, I'm done with the downloader app. I'm going to hit the home button on my remote. Now, if you come down here and look at the applications in this row, you're going to notice that the ADB application is not present. And that's why I installed the Sideload Launcher application. It gets us to these apps that don't provide support for the Chromecast with Google TV Launcher. Hit the OK button when you see this. And here is the remote ADB shell app. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Click OK. Now, in this first box, all I need to do is type in local host. Back button to get rid of the keyboard. I can just move down and click connect. I'm going to leave 5555 for the port. 
I want to check the box that says always allow from this computer. So I'm gonna press the okay button on my remote and then click allow. Okay, now I'm going to send a few commands to this device to fix the storage issue we saw earlier. First one I'm going to type in is PM space list space users. Hit the check mark. And now it's going to show the users set up on the Chromecast with Google TV. There really should only be one user because I only have one account created for this device. And you're gonna see the one that's running, that's what I'm currently using. The other one where it says user info 10, that's a user that I don't need and I need to get rid of that user. Now, you may see this problem on other Android TV, Google TV devices as well. And these same commands should work for those as well. So the next command I want to send is PM space remove dash user space 10. And I'm inputting 10 because it's showing the user above that I'm not currently using, the one that doesn't show running next to it, it's identified as 10. Now you may notice when you're typing in these commands that it auto corrects. If you notice that it auto corrects, as soon as it auto corrects, hit the back button or the delete button and then it will go back to what you had. So again, the command is PM space remove dash user space 10. So I'm gonna hit the check mark, success removed user. Okay, now I should be able to go back to the home screen, hover over the gear icon, click the gear icon, back into system, storage, I'm gonna highlight the USB drive that's recognized, move over, and now I'm going to press migrate data to this storage again. Move now. The more applications you have installed, the longer this will take. Migrated data to USB drive, it has been completed. Okay, now I wanna show you how to manage these various applications and how you can move them back and forth from the USB drive. But just a quick note before that, now that you have all of this internal storage, you have room for more applications. Be sure to get my free secret app store guide that shows you how to install thousands of apps not available within Google Play or Amazon App Store. This guide will show you how to truly unlock your device with powerful free applications that will take your streaming experience to the next level guaranteed. To get my free guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet, input your email address, and it will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Okay, now I'm going to press the back button on my remote a few times. I'm gonna go into apps see all apps and now you're going to see when you go through these various applications you're going to see if you move over to storage used it's going to show that these are currently stored on internal storage anything that you installed prior to going through this process is going to be on internal storage but we can easily move a lot of these applications over to the USB drive now. And also, like I mentioned earlier, anything that we install from this point forward will be automatically installed onto the USB drive. So here's a good example. I've got this application here, APK Prem Installer. If I click Storage Used, you're gonna see here I can move this app over to the USB drive. and now it is running from the USB drive. If I go back into storage used in the future, if I wanna move it back over to internal storage, I can do that by clicking internal shared storage. Now, important Troy Point tip, I strongly suggest running all of your frequently used applications off of internal storage. You're gonna get better performance that way. So if you have streaming applications that you use every day, be sure to still run those off of internal what I like doing is reserving my internal storage for the apps that I use on a daily basis. Another example, I would never put my VPN Surfshark onto external storage due to the fact that this is always running in the background. I would keep this as internal shared storage. But for the applications that I just use 
every now and again, I would definitely move those over. So I'm just going to go ahead and move a few of these. Analytics speed test. Do this third-party app store here. So as you can see, based on the amount of applications that you have on your device, you can save a lot of space by doing this. Now, one other note, there are some applications that have a lot of what's called app data. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do with that app data. This Media Center app here is one of those applications that has a lot of app data. The app data will still be stored on internal storage. Now, since I use this on a regular basis, it doesn't matter anyway, because I still want this running off of internal storage. Now, another important note is that you can't move all applications over to the device, specifically those that came with the Chromecast with Google TV. So as far as these system applications are concerned, you're not going to be able to move those over to the USB drive. As you can see here, there's some pretty large applications that come on this device. If I went into Google Play Services, you'll see here if I click Storage Used, it doesn't even allow me to go into that window and see the USB drive. Okay, now that we're all done with this process, something else that I like to do is go back into the gear icon, click the gear icon, go into System, Developer Options, and I like turning the USB debugging off. Now there's some Android TV, Google TV devices where you have to do this or when you reboot the device, the USB drive will not reconnect. So I just like turning this off when I'm done with this process. Home button. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we reboot the device. Let's make sure that the USB drive reconnects. Okay, the device has rebooted. I'm going to go back over here now. Go into settings. System. Storage. And you're going to see that the USB drive did reconnect after rebooting the Chromecast with Google TV. Now, if I click that, I can come in here, go into apps. This is another way you can see the apps that are installed on the device. And you will see the apps that we moved over are still showing as they are running off the USB drive. Now, in the future, if for some reason you would ever want to get rid of the USB drive, what I suggest doing is coming back into the applications that you moved over to USB, go into each of those, move back to internal shared storage, and then when you're done doing that with all the apps, I suggest coming back into storage, go to internal shared storage, click migrate data to this storage, that's going to move all of that user data back over to internal. And then once you're done doing that, go to the USB drive and click the eject button. So that is how you can add internal storage to the Chromecast with Google TV and load it up with as many applications as you would like. Please don't forget to get my free guide on how to install secret app stores and truly unleash the full potential of your Chromecast with Google TV. Also, if this video was helpful, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you very much for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.